I got into sand casting around the time when I was building a bike for Born Free. There was a lot of parts that I wanted to make on the bike that I knew that I couldn't fabricate by welding something up. It was always really hard for me to wrap my head around the casting process, and there's two ways. There's a lost wax process and a sand cast process. And it wasn't until my friend Jamal came over and we sat down one day and we learned just by trial and error. And I think it took us all day to even make one mold. And still, I think it failed, but it was a real eye-opener of what could be done. Casting everything from motorcycle parts to surf fins, um, the possibilities are endless. I've always been interested in sculpting and shaping, and I've, I think I've done that throughout my life. I wouldn't consider myself an artist or anything, but I've always kind of worked with my hands in that sense. So it will be really cool one day to go to a swap meet and see one of my bikes I probably built 30 years prior, and it still has an oil tank on it that we sandcasted in my shop or a headlight bucket, you know, that some young kids selling at the swap meet for his friends to put on their bike. It's fun to be able to ride your bike down the street with half the parts you melted down and made in your shop, and it's all functioning. Where I live now, I'm really grateful that I could drive 15 minutes to the beach and be surfing or go 10 minutes the other way and you're deep out in the mountains. Unless we're on a bike trip, I'd, just, I'd prefer to just be here working on stuff, hanging out with my wife and my dog. I consider myself a construction worker, honestly. I've, I've been doing this kind of work from framing to metal work to digging holes and pouring concrete. And everything that has to do with building, I've been doing since I was around 14. So it's, I've been doing this stuff for 25 years. But I wouldn't consider myself anything more than a construction worker that has a passion for working on old Harleys. My name's Dayton Lickness. I live in Vista, California.